来たかワン・ツー・スリー・ファンプーニープレイヤーズ、ロビッド・ヒア。It's time for Luke's, Leafy, and Robit. That's right. It's Kachi Kachi time. It's Puni Puni vs. Kachi Kachi once again. The notice says this year's Ohajiki battle will always move differently, but I don't know what they're talking about. Each time you complete an event map stage, there's a chance that Great Priest Katai will show up. In addition, sometimes Kachi Kachi Kamen will show up after that. Each Ohajiki battle has a time limit. If it's exceeded, the Yokai will escape. Next time you face them, they'll have recovered hit points. Depending on the number of Ohajiki battles you've completed, rewards will unlock, including rank SSS, Kachi Kachi Kamen, or an extreme soul secrets. Each time you damage enemies in Ohajiki battles, you'll earn Y points. Additionally, when you defeat an enemy in Ohajiki, you'll get rewards. I'm obligated to tell you that if you want Y points quickly, you can buy them with real money. If you help your friends with their Ohajiki battles, you'll also be rewarded with friend points. Friend points can be used on a variety of rewards, including power ups and Genki. You can force spawn Great Priest Katai once per day without battling on the event map. This ability resets each day at 4 a.m. Japan time. In order to battle Ohajiki, you'll need Genki energy. You can get Genki in the Y Point shop as drops from Ohajiki battles or with real money. There are yokai that can help you greatly in the Ohajiki battles. Against Great Priest Katai, Puni Wyvern King has an extra large damage bonus. Moon Viewing Venoct and Mer Mother Awoken both have large damage bonuses. Against Kachi Kachi Kamen, Puni Wyvern King has an extra large damage bonus as well. Moon Viewing Venoct and Kaguya Usapion both have large damage bonuses. Kachi Kachi Kamen provides a Y point bonus for Ohajiki battles. Robonyan F Awoken reduces damage from all event map battles. Dream matches, event quests, and event missions are all present. So, this is the Puni Factory, huh? What? You're Lord Enma. Why is a lord at a place like this? He was so nice to come and check the situation at the factory. Because Kachi Kachi Yokai keep coming here too often. That's how it is. Leave everything to me and Zazel. Oh, that's very reassuring. Ha ha! So you finally came to the factory! Huh? Was Zazel always wearing such a mask? Ha 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 ha! I've been waiting for you, Enma! What? Great Priest Katai? Oh, you're already showing yourself. How did you manage to get through the factory's security? <laughs> you wanna know? Then I'll tell you how. Show yourself! Kachi Kachi, Kamen! Oh, you are already giving it away! <laughs> I'm one of the Kachi Kachi Yokai. Kachi Kachi, Kamen! I bet you're surprised. By using his mask, Kachi Kachi Kamen possesses the power to turn into any form. I had him turn into Zazel and secretly infiltrate. It's just one of my genius plans. <laughs> But it's totally obvious, though. He's wearing a suspicious mask after all. Huh, it would have been better to choose someone else to turn into. I am not going to be fooled by a fake Zazel, you know? As expected of Lord Enma, there is no way he would not have noticed. <laughs> You're just a poor loser. This time we shall fight in an Ohajiki battle. But it'll be a Kachi Kachi Ohajiki battle. What does that mean? Well, first, after you clear a stage and spend even more money than usual, Katai will attack you! Exactly! I'll. Wait, why am I attacking first? If you beat Katai in the Ohajiki battle, I might let myself down to being your opponent. But I'm waiting for someone who possesses the power to oppose me. Oh, after saying that, he went somewhere else. First, let us clear some stages. If Great Priest Katai appears, the Ohajiki battle begins. Well then, let us depart to take out the Kachi Kachi Yokai. 
Stage 1 features... Hold on, let's check out the crank. Puni Wyvern King is this event's big deal. Moon Viewing Venoct, the 27th special Venoct, is the lone SSS. That might change though, there's another SSS slot to be found in the medallion. Then, in the SS zone, we've got Mermother Awoken and Robanyan F Awoken. The rest is just noise. Fast forward. Last event was pretty light on Y points, so I didn't bother grinding. Still got a lot left, but I'm not going to get much out of Ohajiki either, so let's make it count. Number 16. Mermother Awoken is a slippery SS rank defense booster. Her skill fills the other yokai's soul meters partially when her large puny are popped. 160 cranks with nothing but a whole lot of Mermother. We'll be back, Crank Akai. Something for you to know there are no Kachi Kachi mechanics in the event stages this time. Everything's all wibbly wobbly. So you came! I shall be your opponent first! Great Priest Katai appeared. With no further ado, let us fight him in the Ohajiki battle. Ohajiki time. Got it. Press the big red button. Press the bigger red button. I like red buttons. Since it's Ohajiki, you need Genki to play. Hit the big yellow button with the spiritual G on it. Now you choose how much Genki to use, 10 or 50, which is the equivalent of doing 6 10s at once, because, you know, bonus. We don't need that much damage right now, so I'll use 10. You're used to tapping those fingers, but now it's time to flick them. You can flick your puni in any upward direction. You can also slide it from side to side to alter the starting point. You want to hit all the puni trapped in the gems, and you can bounce off the walls if you need to. This is where the Kachi Kachi mechanics come in, sort of. Unlike other Ohajiki, your puni are stiff during Ohajiki, and so they bounce off the walls a little differently. Honestly, I didn't even notice until it was pointed out to me. Hit enough puni, do enough damage, and you make Katai mad and beat the Ohajiki battle. Depending on how well you aim, you'll also get a grade from poor to perfect. Sometimes you'll receive missions during Ohajiki to get a certain grade or higher, and you'll receive a bonus for it. At the end, you'll get Y points for how much damage you did, as well as a bonus if you defeated that round of Ohajiki. Then, some tasty rewards, too, like this 50 Y money in Mini X Borb. Tasty. What? Why did I lose? The next time, it won't come to this. Remember that. Oh, looks like he left somewhere. If you keep clearing stages, he might appear again. Do some stages, do some Ohajiki. I feel the need to crank. Oh hell yeah. That's more like it. Puni Wyvern King is a slippery Z-rank all-popper who deals more damage with each use. His skill makes it so that sometimes large puni will drop, mirroring large puni you just pop. And he's so rare, I got him twice. Luck is on my side. Moon Viewing Venoct is a slippery SSS rank all popper and fever extender. His skill makes his own puny easier to link. Now all I need is Robo F Woke. Here's my plan. I'm going to crank 100 times, not get him, and then give up. Along the way I'll get 7 Mermothers, 3 Puny Wyvern Kings, and 3 Moon Viewing Venochs. Sound good? Good. Robanyan F Awoken is a tough SS rank horizontal line popper. His skill fills his soul meter partially each time you take damage. 
If we have a mid event addition, then I'll get him. Moving on. Unfortunately, they decided not to sprinkle any new yokai on these event stages, so I'm just blazing through. Every once in a while, an Ohajiki battle shows up, so I beat it. After the fourth Ohajiki battle, Kachi Kachi I'm Not Zazel Common shows up. Heh, <laughs> so it's finally my turn! Well then, attack me from wherever you want! Kachi Kachi Common has appeared! I get the feeling that you can get some amazing rewards if you manage to win against him. Let us win working together with your friends. You can see he starts with a lot more hit points than Katai. So I beat him too. Oh, you were able to beat me. Not bad. But the fun has only just begun. <laughs> wonder if you can stop me. Phew, we somehow managed to beat him. But it does not seem to be over yet. If you win against Great Priest Katai, it might come to a battle against Kachi Kachi Kamen again. After the fifth battle, Kamen shows up again. When he shows up, is totally random. Each time he goes up a level though, his hit points double or triple. Hey, I need Genki to beat him. To the point shop! The first tab is like the normal Y point shop. Everything costs Y points. The difference is that they're all locked behind the number of Katai Ohajiki you've beaten. Right at the top is a particularly interesting Usapion, but we'll come back to that much later. Otherwise, it's your normal stuff with Genki mixed in. Those are the energy drinks of the Ohajiki world. If you're lucky, you'll get some as drops from Ohajiki, otherwise it's here or your wallet. You can also buy Katai here if you didn't get him from the previous events. The second tab is all free. That's the good news. Bad news is they're unlocked based on how many common you've beaten. It's all prime stuff, just hard to get. The third tab is purchasable via friend points. You get friend points by battling your friends Ohajiki to help them out. That means you don't get any Y points from the battles, but the friend points will let you get some decent stuff, including a Genki and some Ohajiki power-ups. I'll grab my Genki and then get back to it. The boss of the first map is the Puni Factory Manager, and it's a dream match with Fish Pickable. Given he's not in the crank nor the Y point shop, and I don't have him, Fish Pickable's gotta be on the event stage or as a rare encounter. PFM has 6800 hit points and does 237 damage every 5 seconds. He's your run of the mill chubby tracksuit wearing factory boss and he thinks he can slap us around. Not gonna happen. We're Robit Watch viewers. Also, he's super easy. Yes, you're my move. Map 2, people. Well, this is uneventful. The mid-boss of the second map is a dream match between Pewbaby and Pewbie. That one I can do. Old Big Head Puny QB has 10,000 hit points and does 242 damage every 4 seconds. It's a love affair. Me. And Yasha. Stage 21, other than having Scranny, is where we'll find the hidden stage unlock. Whoa, look at that team. I'm calling them the Mysterious All-Stars. Yes, Mysterious, the tribe without a Z rank. It does have eight SSS ranks, however, and so I've chosen five of them. They are Razzle Dazzle Kirikoma, Puby, Kenshin Amaterasu, Kenbumajin Suzaku, and Firebrow's Crystal Komashura. You do not need any of them to unlock the hidden route. What you do need is a team of all Mysterious Yokai to beat stage 21, and you're good. 
Oops. After Katai level 12, Common level 3 shows up. Hidden Stage 1 features Shedwin. I have no idea why. The hairball is tribe restricted to mysterious, tough, shady, and slippery. It's a no continue stage. Hey, guess what? My mysterious all stars fit the restriction. Shedwin has 12,000 hit points and does 279 damage every 4 seconds. I've already got him. The big problem with the mysterious all stars is that they're all kind of light, bright, pastel y with white. It's kind of a mess. One of these guys will beat him. Done. After Katai 13, Common 4 shows up, and he's starting to be a big deal at 15,000 hit points. Apparently, the factory didn't trust Puni QB to watch over the second map, so Puni Orkanos is here too. He's so grumpy. It's a dream match with Katai. Check out those cute Oni abs. Orkanos has 12,000 hit points and does 340 damage every 5 seconds. You know I'm going to just knock him out with Yasha, right? Katai 17 shows up and is followed by Common 5, now at 30,000 hit points. Map 3 is really more of the same. The whole event is all about the Ohajiki. After my Katai 19, Common 6 shows up. At 87,000 hit points, it's time to use the 50 energy for sure. I'm almost to the mid boss when Katai level 24 turns into Common level 7, the big one. We're talking 280,000 hit points, almost 10 times more than level 5. Given you've only got 30 minutes to do it, you're going to need to use 50 Genki at a time and hit hard. Like real hard. I'm using Puni Wyvern King and Moon Viewing Venoct along with Susanoo, uh -oh, Crystal Gilgaros, and Enma Woke for tribe bonus. I'm not getting a lot of bonus levels and I'm topping out around 50,000 damage per 50 Genki. Luckily, I hit 66,000 damage in my final run when I have 65,000 left. Saved me some Genki. And with that, down goes Common. To the point shop. Kachi Kachi Common is a mysterious SSS rank all popper and soul meter filler. His skill makes his puny appear more. The mid-boss of map 3 is Puni Camellia, or um, Punelia. I never really came up with a good name for her. It's a dream match with Puni Wyvern King, which is kind of messed up. 25,000 hit points and 270 damage every 3 seconds. Now we're talking. I don't know why I'm filling these other guys. Yasha, she's yours. Up, 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 all the way to the top. The last boss is Puni Wyvern King himself. It's a dream match with Kachi Zazel. Thirty thousand hit points and five hundred damage, but at least it's only every five seconds. I've got Yasha on speed dial, but I might as well make it look a little fancier. Let's go into fever. And that's the hidden stage on- oh, wait. Usually defeating the final boss without continues opens the impossible stage. No impossible stage here though. You gotta put the fur ball on your team and do it. 
Hidden Stage 2 is unlocked by clearing Stage 45 with Shedwin on your team. Hidden Stage 2 features Walled In in a no-continue battle for the ages. Tribe restricted to mysterious, tough, shady, and slippery. For a non-impossible hidden stage, he's actually up there. 31 and a half thousand hit points, 622 damage every 5 seconds. I've got him already. I haven't brought Yasha. Some of you will be happy, others will cry. It is what it is. I'll give Moonviewing Venok the honors. Except he fails. What's with that, Venoct? Okay, Team Japan Nosaka. Kick him when he's down. So, uh, just those Ohajiki battles then, eh? While I'm battling stage 39 to spawn Ohajiki, this happens. There's Fish Pickable. You can find him, sometimes, on stages 8, 11, 17, 18, 21, 27, 31, 39, and maybe some others. Rare Encounter You're mine, Fish. Fish Pickable is a slippery D-rank all-stunner. Upside down emoji. Just 10 more increasingly larger hit point Katai battles and then I can unlock Usapion. The bummer is, having gotten to level 7 common so early, he still shows up after some battles and I have to wait 30 minutes for him to disappear. But, you know, like Thanos, I am inevitable. Go away, common! To the point shop. Kaguya Usapion, other than freaking me out a little, is a shady SS rank attack booster and stunner. His skill, yes, his, is that his poonie can drop his big poonie sometimes. Event quests. First, clear stage 1. Second, clear stage 28. Third, beat Katai Ohajiki five times. Fourth, clear hidden stage 1. Fifth, clear stage 45 without continuing. Sixth, beat 20 Katai Ohajiki. Seventh, play that score attack, y'all. Who wants to see those new yokai? Let's do it. First up is Moon Viewing Venoct. Usual test team. All the Ds for attack boost. Big arms for score boost, and the yokai of the minute, Venok. Eight hundred thousand and extended fever without a G ultimate. I'm happy. Next is Mr. Mysterious Matchman Kachi Kachi Kamen. I'm not sure what's with all the cubes, other than I assume they're stiff. 715,000 with a G ultimate. Curious. Puni Wyvern King. One point oh seven million. Now we're talking. I hope you enjoyed the video, even though I didn't say the word stiff much. Leave a like if you did. For all the latest Puni Puni information, subscribe to me on YouTube and Twitter. Until the next video, watch out for fake Zazels. <laughs>